Why might a company have a payout ratio greater than 100%? I'm trying to up my knowledge in dividends and sometimes I will see a company that has a payout ratio greater than 100% and I think that typically speaking somebody would see that and consider it to be unsustainable. But if it is unsustainable, why would a company make the decision to do it? Would that not go against the company's objectives of profit maximization? In particular, I am looking at Enbridge https colon slash slash seeking alpha.com slash symbol slash NB as a case study. Enbridge has done quite well over the past five or so years and is one of the largest companies in Canada, but the payout ratio seems to be unsustainable at face value. To me, this indicates that Enbridge is paying out more in dividends to its shareholders than what it is earning, yet Enbridge has experienced steady gross profit growth and still making a decision to pay out at an unsustainable rate. I am hoping somebody might be able to address this in an educational way. I'm not looking to sink a ton of money into Enbridge, I am just using them as a case study to understand why a company might choose to have an unsustainable payout ratio. Taking a quick look at their financials, Enbridge seems to have a lot of non-cash expenses e.g. depreciation that reduce their net income to relatively low levels relative to their operating cash flow. So their dividend payout as a percentage of their net income is relatively high, but with a stable cash flow and possibly limited opportunities for investment, it may be sustainable. It's currently about half of their operating cash flow. Think of it this way. Companies can do three things with positive cash flow, save it, spend it, or give it back to shareholders through wither dividends or stock buybacks. For a stable company, saving it may not make sense, and there may not be many opportunities to spend it I.re, grow their company, so their only other choices are to pay off debt or to give it back to shareholders. Many investors love dividends, so giving it back may be seen as a better use than just paying off cheap in today's market debt. I would also note that many similar companies gas, oil pipelines also pay relatively high dividends due to their corporate structure as a master limited partnership MLP. While Enbridge is not an MLP, it may feel pressure to keep its dividend high to compete for investors with other similar companies.